Chip it! Woo! Bert, call me a roach. Y'all heard that? Yeah. You Same too. Black man. Bert, call me a roach. Bert, Bert, you still want to be on camera, Bert? Yeah, I want to be on camera. Roach, fuck it. Okay, guys, we're back at the hangar. I'm buying in for $500, which is the max. Let's run good. Oh. No warm up hands today. Let's get straight to it. It was so many action hands today, all of them couldn't even make the cut. The only thing that you guys have missed so far is that I chopped an Omaha double bore bomb pot with a nut flush, so I'm already up around 200. And yes, I have it on film, but this video is already long enough. In this hand, we look down to ace three off, and in early position, we're about to fold until the dealer realizes that it's an Omaha hand, so we get more cards. We then look down at our cards again and notice that we've upgraded to aces double suited with hearts and diamonds. Now when the $6 straddle is limped to me, I pause for a second and decide to limp. Because there's tons of aggressive Omaha players behind me, so I was sure that the pot was getting raised 100%. We're going for the good old limp re-raise, baby. Very solid day. I'll work probably two of them. He'll be here Friday, but you know. You can hear me say thank God because we didn't have to wait long at all for someone to raise when under the gun plus one to our left immediately bumps it up to $30. Wow, this is about to be an even better spot than I thought at first. Yeah, Tom Brady drops back to pass. Oh, so Dale Beckham. I'm talking very low because the whole session, I thought my mic was plugged in when it wasn't. At least I have the footage, guys. Bear with me. iPhone audio it is for this episode. The $30 gets called five ways, and when it gets back to me, I contemplate potting it to limit the amount of players that get to see the flop. But with my hand being so strong, as well as me being double suited, I decide to raise smaller than I normally would to give the other players with weaker hands more room to make mistakes. This is on the blog, guys. Yes, this is on the vlog, Nolan. Now, is this extremely risky in Omaha? Yes, because you really don't have a good hand until the flop in this game. But even with this raise sizing, I'm only expecting to get caught in two spots. Let's see what happens. Make that 130. Good part. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Damn, y'all not going to even think about it? Yeah. Already called. Mine's right there. Think I'm full that far? I got 30 out there. I don't care if I got quad deuces. I thought you did. Me, 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 me. I don't care if I got quad deuces. Should have potted it. That's what I get. Well, that's that's Everybody's full. Nobody, nobody was full right there. Nobody. This is for the blog. Am I on it? Yeah, yeah, you on it. How many players? Fuck. Pick me, please. Pick me. And in typical hanger poker fashion, not a single person folded. Come on, man. Now, even I was surprised by this. Now I have to see a flop in Omaha with five other players? Now you know I'm really sweating bullets. Chips. Give him second. One all in for the main. Big B. The flop comes queen, nine, five with two diamonds. So we flop an over pair and the nut flush draw. And when it's checked to me, with over $700 already in this pot, I think about it for a little while. And decide to jam all in. Come on, man. All in. My logic for this shove is that there's already five other players with over a hundred dollars invested in this pot, and they already called one hundred and thirty dollars pre-flop with garbage, most likely. So you know at least one of them is shoving on this flop. And I'm never folding this flop in this spot anyway with only a little over $350 left in my stack. So I shove all in. Now let's see if I can get some folds and take this one down. All in. I'm all in. All in. <laughs> That's bad. Snap jam, snap jam. Man, what the fuck? We immediately get snapped in two spots? Oh man, this ain't good, man. Somebody, I need some more chips, man. Now I gotta hit my flush. Fuck. 
<laughs> that is Boy. bad. That means he's on a draw. Oh, man. Incorrect. Man, they're going to be so good. Dad, I see you taking notes for the vlog. But what you really need to be doing is digging in your pocket for some more money for chips, man. Because we're screwed. We're screwed. We're screwed. That's the bottom set. Bottom set with the 6.8. So there ain't no five. There ain't no five. I got bottom set with six. I can hit a seven for a gutter ball. You go once, you go twice. Oh, right. What did he just ask me? This is the face I make when people speak to me in languages I don't understand. I mean, this guy has already played with me a bunch already, so I don't know why he's speaking to me in Chinese. I mean, can my amazing viewers please inform this man that he only has two options when he plays with me? Rip it or rip it. Come on, Jeanette. I need you one time, dealer. Hell no, I ain't got five. I ain't got a set. Well, then why'd you lie? <laughs> he only goes once. Well, no, we can go twice. Oh, that's fine. I got two pairs. They got a little baby pot on the outside. I think they both had me covered by a little over $60. But the pot calculation is the pot that I'm up to, guys. So the $1,827 is all that I can possibly win. They have $120 on the outside. One time. Come on, please. One time. With a, with a wrap. No, I got two pair with a wrap. Not a wrap, but a, I can hit anything from a 6 to an 8. I can hit a six, seven, or eight. What? I had a six, oh, seven, or eight. I should have potted this shit pre-flop. What's that? I should have potted. Uh, what do you got, Aces? I mean, I'm gambling, but I mean, I'm. Well, it don't matter. You're all in. Well, I'm probably not ahead. <laughs> Look at that. 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 Look Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's you're this right. part up to. I'm about to show you right now, all right? No, let me take that back. Okay. I'm going to live for the name. All right. Uh, let me explain this really quick. Nolan and Bert, this is your part right here. You're in for this as well as the rest of them. Mm -hmm. You, sir, are up to this one and this one. They're just not together, all right? Y'all are, you're in for these as well as the main. Marcus, you're in for the main. Okay. okay. I'm in all three. I'm in all three. No, you are only in two. You are in this part right here. That's me and Nolan. Okay, okay. You want to. Oh, no, right. Twice if he don't win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it goes. Okay. All right. Ship it. Woo! <laughs> All right. For the outside. Woo! <laughs> Ship it. <laughs> the nuts. Straight blush out there. Well, I hope they got it. <laughs> Ship it. I hope right. they got it. <laughs> Oh, Ship it. Shit. Bring me two reps and like, and then eight. Ship it. Right? Right. Y'all got that? <laughs> Y'all got that? You heard what I said. Ship it. Now here come the know-it-alls here to tell me that I didn't have the nuts. Well, obviously I knew that. I'm not dumb. I just knew I had the best hand. So no smart ass who was about to comment. I know I didn't have the absolute nuts. But like I said, ship it. I'm up over 1300 and it haven't even been an hour yet. Let's keep it going. I hit my straight though. Ship it. That's a good pop for you, brother. I had two diamonds. I'm gonna go smoke. Yes, sir. Uh, four, four, eight, ten, two diamonds. I wonder if I had the four eight diamonds. You had aces you and had what? Anyway. Aces and I had do aces yeah, double suited. I had hearts and hearts and diamonds. diamonds and then Y'all see this absolute garbage they call me with preflop? King Deuce Jack 5 off for $130 preflop? Non-8651 suit? I mean, hey, it's your money, I guess. So do what you want. Well, actually, it's mine now. <laughs> um, King Jack 5, right? Oh, wait, 5. Scoop. 5 King. You're going to scoop the outside. No, 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 no. What did Nolan show? Got, oh, he has two pairs. Oh, my bad, my bad. What, what, what two pairs? He, he has 5'9 on the bottom. I flopped 9'5. Now hey, you call that bullshit. But I got, flop? I got wow. queens and five. Wow. Yeah, so I got two pairs pair on the bottom. I bro. do too. Yeah, but he has a nice king two pair. Yeah, that's right. I was right. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he's gonna take the well, give me oh, a rack. Hold up to that. Got the five. Oh, got I got a nine. Oh, you got a nine. Yeah, you're there right. You go. You're right. I got a nine on the bottom. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. It's been fun, boys. Give me a rack. <laughs> <laughs> I 
got enough content for the day. <laughs> you fucking sick. And I knew you I when you when you wouldn't say nothing, I knew you had the nut cluster off. Well, someone needed to pull a ten eight of diamond down. To, to fuck him up? Yeah. Well, we didn't have it. No, we didn't have it. Well, I mean, I just... Good thing I did. Okay. I had the good thing I did. Huh? I had the good thing I did. Either one of them. We might as well fast forward a little bit, but keep the camera rolling. Because my real poker players know this feeling right here. Yes, sir. Are we on a heater? Let's find out when we look down at pocket eights in the big blind. I'm still stacking my chips from the last hand, so I can't even look at my cards without picking them up off the felt. Sounds like a good problem to have. The $3 big blind gets lent to the cutoff when he bets $45. Now at the time, I thought this raise was a little steep. But hell, I have a pocket pair, and I'm still stacking chips from an $1,800 pot. So I gotta call and do a heat check, right? The $45 gets called in three spots, and we go four ways to a flop. That was $700. Yeah, real quick. Bink, we flop a set, and it's an easy check because the two players that I beat in the last hand, they're in this hand. One of them is shoving. Let's just check it to them and let one of them shove. All for fun, guys. Check. All in? All in? Man, both of them immediately shoves. I remember when I used to chase my losses like that. Let's wait to see what this other player does and then collect our free money. The heater is in full effect. You can put eight diamonds. You put two diamonds. Mm -hmm. I would have given you six dollars. How much is it? <laughs> Actually, I would have given you seven dollars. There's no more action, right? Yeah, there's no more action. I was confused. I'm like, perfect. Fuck. I got a boat. That's I good. Yeah. I ain't gonna slow bro. Yeah, I'm just eight. That's good. Sorry, it's We turn a boat and take this pot down as well. Easy game, right? And did y'all hear me say I ain't even gonna slow roll you? See, I blame this on you guys. Ever since my last video, now y'all got me paranoid that everything is a slow roll. I don't even know why I said that because in this case, I wasn't even supposed to show my cards first. Most of the time, I wait for my opponents to show if I call them. But in this case, I didn't even care to see their cards because they could have shoved with anything because they lost that last big hand. Hey guys, come on out to the Hangar Poker House. See my boy Valdez. Use code Valdez. Get a free daily membership and a $100 time match. Can't wait to see you on the felt. See y'all soon. All right, so we've been playing for less than an hour. There's over 2K in our stack. We're up over 1,500. Why can't every day go like this? And you know what? I said I was going to be more professional. I wasn't going to be on YouTube with my do-rag on and stuff. I was going to have my hair out. But look, I told y'all in the first video, I'm superstitious. I can't help it. I feel like I run bad when my, when my do-rag is not on. I, I, I just do. I run bad when my do-rag is not on. You know, I mean, I, sometimes I run bad with my do-rag on, but overall, it's positive EV to have a do-rag on for me. Um, so we're up 1700 right around 1700 Been playing less than an hour. Let's go back in and run it up. Six. How much? Six. All right, it's time to piss off the GTO poker nerds because I have to do it at least once or twice a video. Their comments help me with the YouTube algorithm. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to piss them off and limp 6-5 offsuit and see a flop. Wilbert, we were wrong. What? The flop comes 7-8-9 with two clubs. So we flopped the straight. 
And if someone just so happens to have Jack 10, then God bless them. We're about to build this pot. I only take notes so I can have accurate cards and numbers for my vlog. You would think that's common sense, but I saw someone comment, I can't believe he's taking notes for a 1-3 game. I guess common sense isn't that common on YouTube. Greetings. Hello. Greetings. We bet 30. We get three callers, and it's off to the turn. Probably be here shortly, so. G. It's who? G. Go ahead. Check. We get about the best turn card that I could hope for. So when it's checked to me, with a million draws on this board, I think of a bet sizing that would either get my opponents to fold or make them commit themselves and go all in with the worst hand than mine. I think about it for a bit, and then I decide to bet 175. Let's see if this bet sizing can get the job done. We fast forward through that mini tank, but they both eventually fold. Someone tipped the dealer a dollar to see what the river would have been, and it turns out it would have been the six of clubs. Probably one of the worst cards in the deck for my hand. So if you ask me, in my humble opinion, I played this hand perfect. What do you guys think? Put your opinions in the comments below. Next hand. Line home open. <laughs> Start <to show>, <laughs> It's like I can't put no pocket knives. I've seen it. <laughs> Six to go. Okay. Right? Yeah, okay. Good job. The reverse button has come around again, so it's time for Omaha. We look down at Ace Jack 7 3 double suited. And with the suited ace on the button, I lent the $6 straddle. It gets around to the straddler, and he bumps it up to $35. And yes, guys. It's the same guy from the first Omaha hand. All right, 35. 35. He's under the gun. You don't give a damn. The $35 gets called in three spots, and we go four ways to a flop. <coughs> I gotta figure out how to get my. There you go. There you go, Bert. 340 back. Yeah, now's your chance. Uh, yep. Just shove it blind. A pure D uh, dog kit. One pair of Six. Need some help. Six players. The flop comes Ace, Six, King, Rainbow, and it gets checked all the way around. Let's see a turn. Let him live. The turn is the eight of spades, and Bert leads on this turn card for $75. Now, I'm introducing you guys to Bert because he wanted y'all to know about him. As soon as he sat down and saw my tripod set up, he said he wanted to sit by me, so when he stacked me, he can be on camera. He eventually moved to another seat because he said he wasn't catching cards, but I just wanted to give you guys some context on what he said when he first came to the table. But anyway, we turned the net flush draw, so I'm not going anywhere yet. I called the $75, and we're headed three ways to a river. Yeah. Back door dead, back at it. <laughs> Put my hands on my head, waiting to collect my money. The hijack calls Bert's all in for two hundred dollars, 
And now it's time to just wait a little bit and shove and see if we can get the rest of Hijack's chips. Come on, man. All in? Are you fucking kidding me? It's uh, Roach who did that earlier. <laughs> Same exact hand, I got second. Too Same far in. Same exact fucking hand. I'll call. Call, outside. No, I knew it. Bert, call me a roach. Y'all heard that? Yeah. Same exact thing. Bert, call me a roach. Bert, you still want to be on camera, Bert? Yeah, I want to be on camera. Roach, fucking ace, ace fucking <laughs> nut flush both times. I got second nuts. <laughs> both hands like, had second nuts. Yeah, this roach is over there slow yeah, playing, looking at the ducks. Oh, that ain't slow playing. Nah, I call. I'm, I'm happy for you. Good hands. I'm gone. Y'all yeah. yeah. saw what just happened? Backdoor Dez has struck again and sent Bart packing. I guess his plan to be on camera came true, but just not like he planned it. And wow, y'all heard him call me a roach over and over? That's crazy. Look, I'll take the names. Just leave your money at the table on your way out. Oh, and if I'm a roach, then Bert is an open fridge in the hood because I ate good off him all night. Have y'all ever did someone like I did Bert at the poker table? Well, if you say yes, then you're a roach too. Come on, all my YouTube roach friends. Let's celebrate. We eating good tonight. <laughs> Come on, come say hi. <laughs> come on, Jake. We gotta shout out Martin Luther King again. <laughs> come on, Jake, what you wanna say to the people? Come on. You're I'm impartial, sir. You're impartial. I'm Thank impartial. you, sir. Hand, sir. Thank you, sir. What happened? I said I'm impartial. Good hands, sir. Oh. Can I get a color up, Jake? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. $10? While Jake gets us that color up, we might as well keep the camera rolling for the next hand. But I got a question though. Who the hell let me start a YouTube channel? And why did they allow it? But just like I give it, I can take it too. All content is good content. So just so you guys know, I don't ever scrap film. It's called the ups and downs in poker for a reason. I show the good and I show the bad. I'll be damned if I film for a whole day and delete it or not use it because I lost or did bad. Hell no. But now that I got that color up, let's get to the next hand. Oh, you love this. Grace. 25. 25. Yeah. Okay, Nothing special, raise, one collar, flop comes, ace high, we take it down. My advice for you guys would be, if you see someone on a heater, don't call none of their bets unless you have a nutted hand. Let's go outside for an update on the session. Another update, Omaha give it and Omaha take it away. I am currently up like 2,500. We've only played, it's 10.04, so we probably only played let like two hours maybe um up 2500 my my chip stack is currently a little over 3k um let's keep let's keep running it up i mean i'm due the water's warm that's what i feel like you want everything to get there you want the, you want the board to pair you want everything i want everything yeah i want it all Shit. i hope somebody got a flush i hope somebody get a boat <laughs> This next hand is the exact reason why you cannot judge someone's play if you haven't been in their exact shoes. We look down at pocket jacks on the button, and when the $3 big blind is limped all the way to me, I decide to raise it up to $25. Yeah. Yeah. 25. Raise, 25. Double up, don't count. That's a good deal, bro. Oh, yeah. Because. Because. Mm -hmm. 
The small blind calls, the big blind calls, and then under the gun, basically men clicks it to $53. Ray. Yeah, what is that? I've been here a couple times. Oh, I haven't really been here. Yeah. <laughs> Ray's to what, 50, 53? The cutoff calls the $53. I think about re-raising and then decide to just call on the button. The small blind and the big blind call as well, and we go five ways to a flop. 53, G. Wait, I think too much. No, that's your 25. That's your 25. 53, yeah. Five players. That button's on me or? It's five there. Five there. The flop comes ace, king, 10, rainbow. So we flop our gutter to Broadway. And under the gun, puts out a C-bet of $40. The cutoff calls, and if you watch my videos, then you already know that I'm a sucker for small bets when I'm behind. If it was a real C-bet, then I would fold. But I'm a sucker for a small C-bet while I'm on the button, so I call. The small blind calls, the big blind folds, and we go four ways to a turn. The turn is the eight of spades, and under the gun goes all in for his remaining $27. The cutoff calls, and come on guys, y'all know I'm not folded for $27. So I call, along with the small blind, and we go four ways to a river. Heads up. Yeah. <laughs> One all in, three lives. The river is the five of hearts, and when it gets checked to me, you can see my face, and I'm annoyed. One, because I know I'm losing this hand. And two, because I can't even bluff because under the gun is already all in, so there's no point. So we do the aggravated check and lose, but that's not the crazy part. The crazy part is that pre-flop, it was limped all the way to me while under the gun had ace-king suited and the cutoff had queens. Again, if you didn't hear me, it was limped all the way to me. And it wasn't like UTG was trying to trap with his ace-king because when my raise got back to him pre-flop, he only min clicked it, along with the cutoff never raising once with queens. This hand just shows how passive some players can really be, and this is why I always adjust my game depending on who I'm playing with. Because with another group of players, I might 4-bet jacks on the button. But with this group, I just call pre-flop because you never know what these guys could have. But anywho, we lose. Next hand. Last hand of the block, and we look down at Queen 10 of Hearts and bump it up to $15. To give you guys some context on my last two hours of play, we've just been losing. $50 here, $25 there. We've just been losing a bunch of small pots. <laughs> but the $15 gets called by four players and we go five ways to a flop. Heaven, check. The flop comes eight, five, queen with two spades. And when it's checked to me, I put out a C-bet of $55. You guys know that I love to pile money into the pot when I think I'm ahead. I try to charge all drawing hands the max. That can be good sometimes, like in the 6-5 offhand, or it can be bad sometimes if you get called and they catch up. But the $55 gets called by middle position and we go heads up to a turn. Heads up. Heads up. What you playing, G? The turn is the ten of spades, so we turn two pair, and I think about it for a bit and then decide to check it over to my opponent. Even though I turn two pair, a lot of the combinations of hands he called me with on the flop contains a flush draw. And with the flush getting there on the turn, I decide to just check it over to him. I'm a fan of piling money into the pot when I'm ahead, not when I could easily be behind. But let's just see what he does. 40. All in. <laughs> 
Uh, fucking cool. How much is it? Man, I check it to him, and he immediately snapshots the rest of his stack for hundred and fifty-four dollars. Let's hear my thinking process. One fifty-four. What? One fifty-four. So we eventually call it off, and what put me over the top was the fact that he only had $154 left in his stack. I pretty much knew I was behind, plus I had outs to suck out on the river. We lose this hand, which basically sums up how the last couple hours have went. Ah, the ups and downs in poker, boy. You gotta love it, man. God damn. I am currently up about 1800. I think at the, at the at at my high point I was up over for sure over, over 2500. So I'm up stuck. Uh this is not too long after that semi cooler when he turned the flush and I had queen 10 I turned two pair. And with that player like he literally I'm not even going to, I probably already talked about it in the voiceover, so I'm not going to talk about it, but uh, let's try to get some back. I'll probably play like maybe like two more hours tops because I'm playing tomorrow. Let's get it back. I lied. Another hour of the same old, same old. And we, in fact, did not get it back. We actually gave a little more back. Let's just cash out and see how we did. Wait on. Wait, wait, wait. I only rip it. A man of the people. I only rip it. That's what I'm talking about. Rip or rip. This is a picture of my tripod setup. I had a viewer ask me about it, so here it is. I'm starting at the bottom because I took the video from the bottom to the top. But at the bottom is just a bag filled of sand holding it down. And the rest of my setup is just with a rig portable charger attached to it. Nothing special. But you know what? It's special to me because I'm a one-man production crew. What we got, Jake? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got 2021, 22, 23, 06. 2306. Man, I was up like a lot more. Up. Why you just can't run pure all night? I need one of them nights. Yeah. Just run pure the whole time. Can't run pure the whole night when you try to eat four, bro. <laughs> Y'all hear that? <laughs> wow. You <laughs> see, you can't play. You can't rip your own nut when you play eight four. Huh? That's fair. That's fair. Okay. I don't know why I don't like that final rule. We're gonna have to edit this part out. Yeah, we're gonna. Have to, I mean, you prolonged the video. I might make. I might. I might have let people watch this. This is your fault. <laughs> Some filler. Twenty three oh six. My boy. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. Oh, it's raining bad. And just like that, we're out. In for $500, out for $2,306.
we played pretty solid today. We ran pretty solid today. I gave some back. I hate when I give some back. I was up easily over two thousand dollars. I, I probably had like probably had almost three thousand in my stack at the high point. We ended up cashing out a little over twenty three hundred. Got a lot of good hands in. Got a lot of action in. This is a regular day at the hangar. I'm glad I got it on film because this is a regular day. It's nuts here. 212 North Bender Avenue. Look it up. The Hangar Poker House. I want to see y'all. Come play with us. Come see what this action is about and let's have fun. I'll see y'all soon on the film. If you made it this far, thank you for watching to the end. I really appreciate you guys. Consider subscribing to the channel. Hey, over an $1,800 win. That's a W. Let's go.